Namaste. Good morning. My God, this is a perfect morning. <laughs> it feels so good to be in this body in this moment and to be here with you. Thank you for being here with me this morning. I hope that this moment is as perfect for you as it is for me. I want to chat with you today about what it means or what I mean when I say today is all that is real. And I want you to know that there's grace here right now in this moment for you to begin effortlessly sinking into the timeless mind, to transcend the linear mind, and to begin touching life in a deeper way than ever before. So to be here present in this moment is for your mind and body to be in the same place, to be here together in the same place. For most people, their mind is either in the past, in the non-existent past, or projecting into the non-existent future. But everything in your mind is either memory or projection. And most of the time, for instance, if you're doing chores and you're cleaning the house, you can start to enter into this, uh, you know, this high intensity pace, this fast pace of doing things because you're trying to get it done and move on to the next chore. Instead of being physically and mentally present in the one chore that you're doing, instead of touching that moment in a deep way, your mind is in this fervent pace trying to get to the next thing. And so when we learn how to bring the mind and body together, and this is what Evans asked the question, uh, spiritual practices or meditative practices and the like are there to help us learn how to focus the mind and bring the mind into a place of present awareness with the body. So this moment is the greatest moment of your life so that you can touch this moment, whether you're doing dishes or whether you're cleaning the house or whether you're wiping uh, your baby's butt or whether you're just sitting here listening to me watching this video. This moment is the greatest moment of your life in the realization that it is all that is real. Today, this moment right now is all that is real. But more often than not, you might miss this moment because your mind is living out of the past and making judgments from that past projection, from, from that past um, story from the past uh, translation or you're afraid of and trying to get to what is next the future tense moments so so many say well I'm just kind of figuring out where my life is going and what's next for me <laughs> there is no next as long as your ego will always be looking for what is next the belief self will always be trying to accomplish something more to get to that next place to become but every next place has a next place has a next place and you'll never be here present so many times we're going on vacation my children ask me when are we going to be there and I say oh, we're here now we're here and they say no dad when are we going to get there I say no we're here now because this moment is the one we're in we are present here in the now We've arrived. We've got great news for you. You have arrived. You're home. Here and now. <laughs> I remember we were driving with the kids and we were heading, it was early morning and we were driving up over the mountains, the Blue Ridge Mountains here in Virginia. And we were heading, just cresting the mountains and there was this most beautiful sunrise 
it's so gorgeous. It's popping up, and I kind of woke the kids. I said, hey, guys, just don't want you to miss this sunrise. It's so beautiful. Don't miss it. And uh, one of my kids said, Dad, I've seen a sunrise before. And I slowed down and looked through the rearview mirror at him and said, no, son, you've never seen this sunrise. You see, the mind says, I've seen sunrises. But the present mind, the timeless mind, recognizes that this sunrise is brand new. And when you begin to transcend the linear mind and step into the timeless mind, you realize that every moment is brand new. You're not looking for the next and the realization that this is the greatest moment what is next fades away. I love you. Thanks for being here with me today, this morning, right now. I encourage you to watch this a couple times and really sink into this realization because there's grace here for you to begin, as the Bible would say, renew the mind. Renewing of the mind is important for your divine manifestation in bodily form. So, I love you. I hope you have an absolutely magnificent day. Talk to you tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Go ahead and subscribe to my channel and let's shift global consciousness together. Also, check out the daily video series that will help deepen your spiritual journey. And remember, the more you awaken, the more you play.